Hey, it's Lisa Duffy with Magnolia Skin Essentials, and I'm just out here taking a walk in Wanamaker Park in North Charleston. It's a beautiful day, or at least it started out that way, and now it's getting sort of cloudy and breezy, but you know, that's fine. It's fresh air and exercise, and I'm really enjoying it. And you know, as the new year begins, people make resolutions and sort of set up goals for the new year. I love doing that too, because um, it really helps me be a better person. I think one thing that's really important for everyone, no matter who you are or what you're doing, is to set aside some time for self-care. I know self-care is a really trendy phrase right now, but it's true. And I was thinking, um, I was doing some reflection on previous years, and I remember many years ago, I was going through kind of a tough time and I had little kids and I wasn't being very good at anything. A business owner, a mom, a wife. I was just sort of like all over the place. And <clears throat> I was talking to a friend of mine about it and she said something kind of funny. She said, well, do you have your oxygen mask on? <laughs> I was like, what? What does that mean? And she said, well, you know, when you get on the plane, um, and before takeoff, they give you all those instructions. And one of those instructions is that if the masks fall down, the oxygen masks, to put one on yourself first before you try and help someone else. So, do you have your oxygen mask on? And I thought that was pretty insightful. She said, that's what I mean. She said, you may not be doing well at being a wife and mom right now because you're not taking care of yourself. And that has to come first if you're going to take care of other people. I just thought that was a really interesting and insightful tidbit. So, you know, whether self-care is trendy or not, I think it's a valid point for anybody. And I, I know a lot of people who, you know, work in the corporate world, who are entrepreneurs and they're doing their own thing, their small business. I know a lot of people who are caregivers and that is a ton of work, selfless work. And, you know, the list goes on. We all, you know, have our lives to lead. Um, there are so many things that take our energy and divide our time. And it's really important if you're taking care of other people to take care of yourself so you can be the best person you can be for them. All right, so I'd like to share with you three items today that will be very beneficial and really relaxing for you when you are in self-care mode. And that first one is the Dead Sea Salt Soak. Now this is a combination of ingredients, but by and large it is Dead Sea Salt from the Dead Sea, of course. And <clears throat> it has a beautiful aroma of mm, frankincense and lavender. And so it's just wonderful for your bath. You take a scoop, a heaping scoop, and you pour it in the bath, let it dissolve, and soak for about 15 to 20 minutes, and the results will be amazing. You will feel relaxed, and um, it really works on sore, tired muscles. I have a daughter who is um, a ballet dancer, and a son who, and a daughter, another daughter, who both run track and field and cross country, and um, they love this stuff because it is so good for tired, sore muscles. There's also this, my avocado shea butter bar. And this is a wonderful, wonderful combination of avocado oil, which is so good for your skin, and shea butter. There's a lot of shea butter in this bar. And it's got a really silky, creamy lather it's wonderful to use. It has a lemongrass scent, and um, it's just a joy to wash with. And then I have my Magnolia Blossom Hand and Body Lotion. This all natural lotion does not dry your skin. It's very moisturizing. Um, it has no artificial ingredients in it, but it does have um, hydrolyzed silk. So there's lots of natural silk peptides in this lotion that really help it go on smoothly and um, just it's very luxurious and very good for your skin. It also has the Magnolia Blossom scent, which is just heavenly. 
So those are a few suggestions that I have for you for your self-care routine. If you would love to come to Charleston but can't make it, remember I can send a little bit of Charleston your way. Don't forget to visit magnoliaskinessentials.com and I can do that for you. Cheers.